I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. I didn't think we were going to make it, guys. Like, I'm telling you right now, I did not think that we were going to hit 50,000 likes. This series is on life support. Like, I think it took almost a week for the series to hit 50,000 likes. And the reason why I do it is because I want to know who's really invested in this series. And it also helps the videos get recommended to new people. Likes really do help the video out a lot. So I do appreciate the people that are liking the videos. But anyway, we got the first trial to go through right now. I think I know who did it. No more talking. We're just going to jump right into it if you guys cool with that you down with that everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go so here we are monokuma rock and my hair is looking like a pinche pendejo this is cool it's like the mount rushmore of monokumas are you kidding hey what the heck is that mountain when did that get there never mind that how did they even make a mountain shaped like monokuma don't worry about it bud that story that story might be true after all there might be an enormous organization involved in all this. You mean what Biakuya said before, right? You are right. Biakuya, we still needed his knowledge. <laughs> Duh, I still can't believe he's dead! And I can't believe I took that fat shit! <laughs> Biakuya, 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 Biakuya! That's what I said when I went to sleep the day that I found that he died. I was like, Biakuya, Biakuya! What happened to Gundam and Fuyuhiko? Um, now that you mention it, it appears they aren't here yet. I got I know! They probably ran away! No way. Oh, hell nah! There's no way I'd let them escape, you know? Look! I dragged this one back over here! Don't fuck I'm telling me. you, let me go! Hey, hey now! Uh -huh. If you keep acting violent, I might just eat you up! Hey, hey Fuyuhiko! What were you doing all this time? Huh? Nothing. I wasn't really doing anything. I was just chilling in my room when I suddenly heard that fat bastard got killed! <laughs> Who the hell cares about that anyway? You. How can you say something so irresponsible? Do you We've been doing our best to investigate this murder, even though we don't want to, just to survive! Wait, Mahiru, that's enough. You too, Fuyuhiko. <laughs> Dumbass. Um, and I guess we're waiting for Gundam? What happened? I am right here. No Remember way. this well! A main character there. arrives when he intends to! Huh? It seems you noticed it too. <laughs> if I did, then I'm right. Well, all right, now that everyone's all together, let's take the secret entrance to the trial field. Wait. Please wait a second. What's this? My my, Monomi. Just what are you doing here? Nobody asked for you. I really don't like her character at all. Not even gonna cap. I can't cappy. Huh? Do you actually want to join in? Do you want to taste how powerless you are at the class trial? You're an even bigger masochist than I thought. Oh well, I'm a big brother who dotes on his little sister. I shall allow your special participation. I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys, so hurry over. He told us to come, but how do we get there? I don't see any doors or vehicles. What's going on? He mentioned something about a secret entrance, was it? Secret entrance. Uh, right here on that face. Come on now, stop playing with me. Roar! I can't do a good roar. I never said I could. What the? Something's shaking. This is dangerous. Everyone, please get down. Whoa. Okay, what that tongue do? What that escalator tongue do? Something came out. Could it be? Is he telling us to enter it? What do you think? What do you usually do with the escalator? You ride that thing like a pony! What? Such a suspicious aura! Even Crimson Steel Elephant Magazine is trembling with fear! Oh, that's so totally suspicious! Hey, 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 forgive hey, me! Hey, hey. Seriously, just forgive me already! Uh, <laughs> hey, why don't we just stop here? I mean, none of this is real anyway. Like, not even remotely. No There's way, no, no way. way! There's just no way we'll find the killer! Stupid. Complaining won't get us anywhere. If you're really a man, then man up for God's sake. We've come this far. We have no choice but to keep moving forward. You're right. There's nowhere for us to run. We need to do it. Mm. If that's everyone's decision, I'll just follow you guys. Yep. If this were a video game, it'd have a very high difficulty level. Let's do our best to clear the game. Nah, this is tutorial level. I already know who it is. It's Teru Teru, shaking with fear and nervousness. I hesitantly lifted my feet and stepped onto the escalator. I won't think anymore. If I think, I'll run away. All I could do was stare upward intensely as the escalator carried me. Carried you like I carried this game on my back. 
and when each of us entered Monokuma Rock. You know, blast off like we're going into space? Wait, did he just dump us? We went into his mouth, he shook a little bit, and then he dumped us. Now the elevator. This is an elevator. I see. This entire rock is an elevator. Once again, Monokuma is doing what he pleases. However, However, if he's gone this far and made something like this, I don't think he's playing around. Even so, we're going pretty deep. That's what he said. You <laughs> feel me? I heard an unnerving chattering sound inside my head. I soon realized it was the sound of my teeth. All I could do was purse my lips tightly so everyone else couldn't hear it. Some time passed before the elevator finally finished ascending. And then, the elevator door slowly opened. Ooh, I'm excited to see what this looks like. Oh, what the heck? Welcome. It's basically the same exact courtroom style as the first dog in Ropa, just with a giant ass iPad right in the front. This is the class trial field. How do you like it? It's a special place that will decide your fates. Why you? Yeah. What the hell is he thinking? Locking us in a shitty looking place like this. Don't fuck with me. Are you me. freaking crazy? Don't mess with me, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Complain all you like. I'm used to it by now. Yeah. Come on, you're wasting your time and energy. Hurry up and take your seats where your names are written. It looks like everyone knows. Even if we try to resist, they won't change a thing. Just as Monokuma ordered, we walk toward the seats we had been assigned. From this point on, we need to find out who killed Biakuya. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Taru Taru! The ultimate affluent progeny, Biakuya Tagami. He was overly critical, arrogant, and condescending. I'm sorry, his name was Thikakuya, that's what it was. But he also had a strong sense of responsibility. As we were panicking, he accepted his role as leader and tried his very best to keep us together. A guy like him. Thikakuya. My G. Ooh, 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 ooh. I like the way this is starting. The person who did it. Is it one of us looking at you, Taru Taru? I know who did it! This comic book style is making the nipples hard. I can't believe it. There's no way I can believe it. But if it's really true, it's none of these dudes. We need to find out by any means possible because that's our only option. There is no way for us to survive unless we sacrifice the killer. Yeah, we gotta figure out who did the murder. And so... This life-threatening trial billowing with hope and despair has begun. Yes, I would like to save. Damn, I barely said 10 words and I got to save already said skills. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of All the right. class trial. Time for a water break already. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. Don't we know this already? If you vote correctly, should I skip this, guys? Blackened will receive punishment. I mean, let me know. I can barely hear you. What'd you say? You want me to? You want me to? Okay. I can't hear you. Come on, let's be real. Right to leave this island. S such a cruel move. <laughs> She's tied up. <laughs> Before we begin, I'd like to confirm one thing. Is there really a killer among us? Hey, I'd like to confirm one thing. If I slap you real hard, will you Most shut up? Definitely. There's no doubt that the Blackened is lurking among you. Such a sad state of affairs, isn't it? It's alright. It's not that sad. I mean, think of who you dying is sad. This class trial is going to be 100% fair. So there's no need to worry. That guy got electricity coming out of his eyes. I'm the type who what the hell is that about? Favoritism and prejudice. Well... Not as much as I hate Monami, of course. Monami. You hate me that much? No, I don't like Monami. Uh, that's how I feel about Monami. No complaining. Let's just settle this with our fists. Yeah, that always works. Were you even listening to the rules? Didn't that Biakuya bastard get killed in the dining hall? Huh? Then everyone there is a fucking suspect. Yeah, yeah. What you're really trying to say is that you're not the killer, right? No shit. You guys went off on your own and started killing each other. This has nothing to do with me. I don't think he's the killer either. Huh? What does that mean? I mean, he would be an obvious suspect since he was gone and then he was never a part of it. Anyway, but there ain't no way he did it. Why don't we try talking about the most pressing issue on our minds? Nagito's pretty tall. Look at who he's standing next to. He's freaking tall. Huh. The most pressing issue on our mind? He's sweating bullets. Like, he's sweating ass right now. Where we he found did it. The body. It's very strange. He ain't making it to the, the second class trial. I'll tell you that. Then... Let's start with that mystery. The reason why Biakuya's body was discovered under the dining hall table. We can start with that, but ultimately we need to find out who murdered him. If we can't do that, then we die! We have to do this no matter what. So the class trial has finally started. 
From this point on, I will provide simple tutorials at every important moment. Okay, um, so I already know about all this, so let me just skip this. Watch there be a new element to this game, and I just skip through the whole thing. Make your argument. All right, let me get warmed up. There are a lot of bullets. No, not really. Gaps in floorboard, knife, and blood stain under the table. Okay, let's see if your boy still got the skills that pay the bills. In a place like that. Did I slow down time? Okay, space bar slowed down time. His body was underneath the table. Ooh, that's a deep voice. That the sounds like corpse. The dining hall. After the killer murdered Byakuya. Yeah, 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 yeah. They probably moved the body there. Sure. Huh? Why? Okay, hold on. Obviously by hiding the body. Sure. They tried to delay its discovery. Hmm. Like a dog burying a bone. Oh, that's it? Huh? What he just said was strange. It clearly contradicts the information I know. Okay, let's do that again. Was after the killer murdered Byakuya, they probably moved the body there. Right here? Yes! No, that's wrong. Oh, no, that's wrong. He got a deep ass voice! Okay, Hajime! How's a deep voice? No. I'm he on his romance shit! Huh? Why? Try to remember what the body looked like when you found it under the table. And yeah, this beat goes hard, too. Though there was a lot of blood everywhere, there was no sign the killer actually dragged the body through it. Right. So that's why you think it's impossible that the killer moved the body. I see. I get your point. Oh, and here I thought I had a genius idea. Too bad you're so stupid and boring and like unpopular. Your life is meaningless. I don't like her at all. I respond better to praise, you know. But if the killer didn't move the body, why was it under the table? Yakuya was question. probably killed under the table. What? You think he was killed under the table? So Byakuya snuck under the table for reasons unknown. And that's when he was killed. Maybe he was a giant pussy boy, wanted to hide under the table. Then, shortly thereafter, he found his body under the table. Th that does make sense, but why did he go under the table? Obviously, he was hiding so he could surprise us. That dude was always a big jokester. The hell? Can I say no that's wrong to that? Oh, well, he was. He ain't no joker. You seriously couldn't tell what kind of person he was? Hmm. Maybe he panicked during the blackout and dove under the table. Or maybe he killed him under the table, huh, Taro Taro? It's a blackout, not an earthquake. Just because the power went out doesn't mean he'd dive under the table. The reason why is probably connected to what Byakuya was doing during the party. Don't you think? I do like Nagito's raspy voice. The reason Byakuya dove under the table. If it was connected to what Byakuya was doing during the party, then it's probably... Hmm, let's see. Gaps in the floorboard? Uh, what? Crap! Oh, my bad. Oh, I thought we were gonna talk about how he was gonna. Oh, okay. I can prove it with this. There you go. It was a knife. It probably has something to do with the knife we found under the table. I was trying to, like, figure knife? out what question oh, were you they mean asking. That thing that obviously screams, I am a murder weapon! I was like, what evidence do you want me to show you? Like, what question are you asking me? Byakuya probably noticed the knife was hidden there. So, in order to get it, he moved under the table. He was particularly sensitive to the presence of dangerous items. So, I cannot deny that possibility. But how did he notice that there was a Ain't knife? Ain't no way under Gundam the table? is a high schooler. This is a grown man with three kids. If he knew beforehand, he probably would have done something about it before the blackout, right? Then. Instead of knowing about it beforehand, maybe he saw it right at that moment. Maybe. Like, for example, he might have seen someone trying to take the knife out from under the table. No. Wait, he's the one with the night vision possible. goggles then? What? You seem rather confident about that. Of course. I have proof to back me up. Oh, yeah. Okay, Pico. <laughs> this is almost like a real trial. During the previous statement, there was only one weak spot. But from this point on, there will be various weak spots standing in your way. No matter how many weak spots there are, there will be only one lie or contradiction in the debate at a time. This means there will be a false weak spot. If you shoot a false weak spot with a truth bullet, not only will you fail to refute what was said, but you'll also lower your trust with everyone and your influence gauge will take damage. If your influence gauge reaches zero, you will fail, so please be extra careful. Extra careful is my middle name. Let's go. We got this, guys. I'm warmed up now. 
Make your argument. I'm about to. Just get me. Just get me to it. Ain't nothing do it but to do it. I think it's night vision goggles. If we're gonna talk about how he couldn't see. I'm sure Byakuya ducked under the table. Yeah. During the blackout. Yeah. That sounds correct. Yes, sir. If that's the case. What's up? During the blackout, Mr. Ham Hands. Mr. Ham Hands, the nerve. Put some respect on Byakuya's name. Put some respect on my guy's name. Black. It was so dark I couldn't see my foot. All right, this is definitely it. This is definitely the bullet. Byakuya couldn't see in the dark. Yes, sir. Give me some. No, yeah. Now I'm getting so high, I've got a drool on my lip. No, Yakuya was probably the only one who was able to see in the dark. Why do you say that? He was using those night vision goggles we found under Those the look table. like actual you night vision goggles happened. that were rendered in video game form. So, Am I wrong? Are you saying Yakuya you tell me I'm lying right now. Night vision goggles? Tell me a no that's wrong right to my face. That seems to be the case. Your reasoning is out of focus. Hey, Karen, calm down. What no, the heck? that's obviously wrong. It should be the other way around. Oh, word? The other way around? What is happening? Seriously? The killer used those night vision goggles, not the Akuya. Ew. Were you surprised by Mahiro's sudden argument? Yes, I was. Just between you and me, I was also surprised. Okay, so we're all surprised here. Thank you. Just kidding. Oh, oh okay. That's embarrassing. All right, so I guess we're going on a one-on-one -on -one with Mahiru. Let's go. What in the mother... Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. If you just use cut the killer, obviously use those night vision goggles. That's gotta be what? it. What is happening? Where's your proof that the killer used them? I don't know what I'm because doing. Because if they use night vision goggles, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark. And in reality, what am I doing? That's what so those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. I found a hole in your argument. I'm sure Byakuya brought the night vision goggles. I need to refute Mahiro's claim with evidence. Because if they use night vision oh, goggles. Oh, okay. Okay, Duralium I mean, Case. Reality, however, however you say that. So those got the killer brought them to the Okay, party. I'm gonna get used to this, I promise you guys. Oh! Well, I'm gonna cut through those words. I'm gonna get used to this one, guys. That's all new to me. No, Byakuya was definitely the one who brought those night vision goggles. Definitely? But why? Inside the Duralumin case, Byakuya... Duralumin case? Party. How do you say it? How'd you make Come on, man. We found a smaller case Help your boy out. night vision goggles. Which means we can assume that the night vision goggles were kept inside that Duralumin case as well. Duralumin. Woohoo! Duralumin. I said assume. Okay, whatever. Plus, Byakuya was the only one who could have taken the night vision goggles out of the case. Since he was carrying it around before the blackout in the first place. Mm -hmm. see. When you put it like that, it makes sense. I can't wait to put the comic book together. Then, was that knife inside the case too? Oh, shut up! Acting like were you don't know. If goggles inside, it wouldn't be weird for a knife to be in there too. Oh, this freaking guy. It would be weird. I am weird. This freaking pinche. At times like this, I'd rather be fantasizing about tonight's main dish. Ooh, you totally mean that in a perverted way. Yeah, Hiyoko, come on now. The knife was brought in the Durlumlumlum case along with the night vision goggles too? No, that's not possible. The knife was hidden in the dining hall before the party even started. I should be able to prove it. With the duct tape! I see. Come on, man. This tutorial, I'm spanking it up and down! The table where the body was found. Uh oh, got him! <laughs> Bro, I'm getting hyped now. So that's we got Teru Teru right where we want him. Though Byakuya was thorough, even he couldn't have noticed a weapon taped to the underside Let me of the check table. Nekumaru's ID. He had at least 25. Why was Byakuya acting so paranoid? Because that letter that he got. But he had night vision goggles inside the He had a taser too. too? He wanted to get freaky on the Friday that's night. He went above and beyond being a little cautious. Now that you mention it, that applies to the dangerous items he confiscated as well. It's one thing to be a little cautious, but performing a body Gotta check is a bit much. Real quick, guys. He probably knew someone was planning to commit a murder. No, Nagito, it's a murder. Are I can't say it like that. He predicted the murder. Is my Could hair still be? looking like was ooh, my hair. Was he also in possession ooh, of the all-seeing eye? You think so too, okay. right, Hajime? A little bit better. 
That's right, Biakuya probably knew there was a possibility that a... Okay! It was... the notes. Give me that note. The murder threat. Give me some! I prove it with this. Everyone, can you please take a look at this? Be careful. The first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. Hey, the hell is this? Hajime and I found this in Yakuya's cottage. It looks like a threatening letter someone sent to him. So, who's the someone? That's what we're trying to figure out, Kane. Nobody besides Monokuma would write such a dumb, threatening letter like that. Your mom Was would. Was it me? Are you sure? The only lies I tell are friendly lies. Those yeah. are still lies. It doesn't matter who wrote it yet. So, Yakuya became paranoid because of this threatening letter? Yeah, yeah. probably. I mean, who wouldn't? Throw a party because of the letter. What do you mean? By gathering everyone in one place, we try to create a situation where everyone can keep tabs on each other. In doing so, he tried to put the writer of the letter in a situation where they couldn't act. So is Nagito the new Biaguya? But the letter might have been just a little Or is he like the new Kyoko? As long as he was determined not to let any of us die, he couldn't take that risk. I mean, he's kind of taking the lead in this case, so... Strong sense of responsibility. Seems like one of the main dudes. He didn't believe the letter was legitimate. You should have told us you received a threatening letter. If he had, we would have panicked. Byakuya probably knew that too. So, he tried to do something about it without telling anyone? Right. Let's see. Strong sense of responsibility as our leader was his undoing. Screw that noise! Who the hell wrote that letter? If we knew that, then we know who the killer is. Well, obviously, the killer. Duh. The killer. Is it really one of us? Who is it? Among us, who's the one who killed Biakuya? <laughs> Enough already! Show yourself, you coward! Yeah, that's gonna work. If they were willing to come forward, they never would have committed a murder in the first place. But I still can't believe it. Someone in this room killed Biakuya. There's no way I can believe that yet. Um, pardon me. Can I say something, please? What is it, Miss Sonia? I regret that I must return to this topic, but I just realized something concerning the night vision goggles. If Byakuya was indeed wearing those goggles, how did the killer manage to navigate in the dark? That's a good question. You're right. They wouldn't have been able to see anything without the night vision goggles. But if the murderer had the goggles when they took the knife, then how did Byakuya see them? Man, this dude really think his shit is sweet. He'd be the perfect guy to play Among Us with with all these lies right Even now. Even if the knife bore some sort of mark, it would have been difficult to see it in that darkness. No, the killer definitely used a mark. And because of this mark, the killer was able to get the knife from under the table into his hands. Party dishes, Byakuya, Tsugami, tablecloth, glowing paint. Was it tablecloth or party dishes? I think it was party dishes, right? No, okay, it was the tablecloth. My bad, my bad, my bad. Oh, uh, come on, don't give me a point down. Hold on, it was tablecloth. My bad. Oh, what the heck? It wasn't? Okay, it was the glowing paint. I see. Hey, third time's a charm. I'm sorry, guys, for the cringe. What if the glowing paint was the mark? With that, you'd be able to get the knife even in the dark. In actuality, the knife we found under the table and the duct tape stuck to the underside of the table were both marked with glowing paint. I mean, to be right? fair, it's been almost a week since I found the evidence, so my memory is not all the way there, but it's catching up. Does that mean the killer painted them in advance? But painting them with glowing paint? It's as if they knew the blackout was going to happen. Yeah, because it was on purpose. They had to have already known. That's why they used the glowing paint as a mark. Which means whoever set up the blackout is the killer. Of course. That seals it. Killer is whoever was in the office with the circuit breaker. Which means it was you, Peko Pekoyama! Okay, Kazuichi, first of all, put your sharp ass teeth and your long ass tongue back in your mouth. It's not her. It Peko is Teru Teru. We just gotta Those get to that already. We just gotta get to that point already. Not the killer. Oh, I guess she's not. How can you believe her so easily? But with Peko's height. I don't think she'd be able to reach the circuit breaker in the office. I don't care about a technicality like that. Pecco's the one who tripped the breaker and caused the blackout. 
By tripping the breaker directly from the office, Pekko was the one who caused the blackout. Is that really what happened? After this debate, blue colored weak spots will start appearing. If we call the weak spots you've seen up until now Argy spots, the blue colored weak spots will be called Agree spots. Oh boy. Okay. We're getting a lot of stuff thrown at us at once. Teratero's account, Nekomaru's account, Shiaki's account. I don't remember what their accounts are. But let's just go through the Since things the and office, let's see what happens. She could have caused the blackout at any time. No. That's impossible. Shiaki? Who's Shiaki again? Because I was not in the office. Not even before the blackout. Oh yeah, I forgot where she went. To the bathroom, right? Wait. Sorry. Hold on. Yeah, she went to take a fat shit, I think. That's clearly a desperate excuse. Okay. Um, so the bullet I gotta fire at is at um when she wasn't in the office. Just from listening to Peko's testimony, it's not weird to doubt her. Hold on. Let me see something. Who is Chiaki? Let me see something. Chiaki's account. Is it who I think it is? Yeah. Oh, no. What the heck? When Chiaki was standing guard outside, Fuyuhiko apparently came to the old building and then what? And then walked away. Okay. What about um, Nekumaro's account? Nekumaro kept trying to use the bathroom, but he was unable to enter. Okay, um, that's what I need to do. I use his account, and then I fire it at where she was. So, here we go. Nekumaro's account. Office, and then, let's see. Even before the blackout, right? Right here. Ba bam I agree with that. Let's freaking go. One take Jay's in the building. No, I think Pekko is telling the truth. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me you're crushing on Pekko. No, she was crushing that toilet with those Taco Bell shit. It's nothing like that at all. Nekomaru's account is actually Pekko's alibi. I've been trying to use it as many times, but the door just won't open at all! It's true. Someone was occupying the bathroom for a long time shortly after the party started. And it was finally freed up after Byakuya's body was discovered. I know his name is Byakuya, but I like Byakuya. I like the Kikuya. Everyone else besides yep. Pekka was in the Pekka was going. The party started, right? I see. So there's no way anybody else could have locked themselves in the bathroom except Pekko. I I guess that would be. Hopefully you wiped true. and washed a little after that. You locked yourself in the commode? You should have said so earlier! There's no way she'd actually say that. Gosh, you are so insensitive. Thanks. She locked herself in the bathroom for that long? There's no doubt. It's shit. <laughs> I want him to say shit! <laughs> oh, there's no way she'd admit it. There's Shitting no is a normal human thing to do. Hey, you know, it's how we cleanse ourselves. Have you taught me basic manners, or were you raised in a locker room? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> It's fine. How about we stop talking about this and move on to something else? I agree. Don't worry. The smell wasn't that strong. I used the bathroom right after you, so you can trust me. Okay, that's something you don't want to say, Nakamaro. Chill with that. I said it's fine. But still, you were in the bathroom for a really long time. Did you get food poisoning or something? Yeah, Taro Taro. Did she? As soon as I stepped into the office, I felt this sudden rush of pain in my stomach. Because of that, I was unable to leave the bathroom, including when the blackout occurred. Hey, how did it feel to do your business in the dark? Did you get excited? I can't wait for this man to die. Seriously, stop. But still, your stomach pain. Was that really just a coincidence? Hey, what's the deal? Don't butt into other people's business, especially if you didn't do any investigating. Hey, he's just thinking logically here. I'm only butting in because you fucking idiots are out of your element. Stop this childish nonsense. Just what do you mean by coincidence? What I mean is, is it possible someone slipped her some laxatives? Laxatives? If so, the killer could have tripped the breaker as soon as that girl left the office, don't you think? I agree with that. I see. That might have happened. The question is whether Peko's stomach ache was a coincidence or if someone intentionally caused it. Depending on the answer, the outcome of this trial could change drastically. 
Okay, I think I know what truth bullet I'm gonna say depending on which one it is. Let me see. Knife, AC timer, night vision, embarrassing pose, party dishes. Party dishes. It's gotta be. Unless I need to shoot something that's in agreement. Did Let's you see. eat anything weird? I don't remember eating anything weird. Hmm. Now that you mention it. Oh yeah? You brought food to the office, right? Uh oh. Just a little bit from the dining room. It's hall. not looking good, Teru Teru. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? Right here. Teru Teru, cook the food. How suspicious! What? Come on! I wouldn't do anything like that. How did it not work? Laxatives would ruin the taste. Um, right here. Okay, so it's definitely the other one. Right. I just wanted to make sure, cause I can take a few hits. Did you eat anything Whoops. weird? Okay, let's fast forward this a little bit, and then laxative should be the answer. Might have been some laxative. Bye bye. No, that's wrong. I like his voice. No, that's wrong. No, it's impossible that laxatives were slipped into the food in the dining hall, because Pekka wasn't the only one who ate that food. Akane ate some of it too. If the food had laxatives in it, I'm pretty sure Akane would have had stomach issues as well. I feel totally fine. Like I said, the, the dishes are innocent. Don't go making weird accusations. He's sweating, guys. I apologize. He's sweating for buckets. Fuyuhiko should apologize, not you. He's the one who made the laxative accusation. I think Fuyuhiko's onto something here. What the fuck did you say, bitch? Oh, 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 oh. This, this bickering. I'm vouching for you, and then you're gonna come in hot like that? Let's dismiss Peko's stomachache as a coincidence and go back to discussing the blackout. I agree. Yeah, yeah. We already know that, you trashy skank. You don't have to What's tell us. What's up with everybody just, like, putting everybody down? Trashy come on. skank? We're a team here. As long as the murder happened during the blackout, then the blackout itself is what's actually important. So we need to make it clear how that blackout occurred. We know. The irons. Because all those irons just made the electricity go... Bzzz. Irons in the storage room. That's the bullet, and I'm sticking to it. Who tripped the breaker? If you can't answer that, did they throw us? Maybe they used a remote? They probably messed with the... It does not have to be the breaker. They may have tampered with the power Here we go. Oy, shoo, That's not it. The power supply and transmitter. Or maybe they caused a power supply. Yeah, bye bye I agree with that. Okay, see, I gotta be more patient. I gotta listen to everybody's speech before I make my choice. It's just as my who said. Because I just made myself look like a giant. Yeah. Of course, that's not a coincidence. Someone caused it intentionally. Yeah, which is why yeah, those you, three irons were arranged to cause the blackout. I know you nobody irons a shirt with three irons. Come on, no. were still on, right? So by leaving those irons on in the storage room, they deliberately caused a power surge. Right. Yeah. It seems that's how the killer caused the blackout. Stupid fool! Whoa! Why is he coming at me so aggressively? Was it him? Wait a second. Let me speak too. Okay. What the heck? You say the irons in the storage room? Used to trigger the blackout? This man's Nekumaru came out of nowhere. That's inexcusable. Why? Bro, alright. Fine, you wanna go? Let's get it. Let's the get it then. The storage the oh, for the killer to oh, turn the iron oh, off. Oh. You're saying they went all the way to yeah, the boy. And that means everyone yeah, who is yeah, the blackout yeah. can't be a suspect. Oh, okay, no, now I know how to do this. In the dining hall. Doesn't mean they're not a suspect. People in the dining hall uh, uh, the irons uh, and the killer had to go to uh, the store uh, and turn on the uh, iron. Uh, now uh, do you intend bitch, to take bitch. back what you said? Okay, it's true the irons were responsible for the blackout, but that shouldn't be the only reason. The people in the dining hall weren't able to okay, the what is it? Cause the blackout. Is it this? Got it! Allow me to cut through those words! Yo, cut it out, dude. I'm too nasty with the shits. The irons are just one reason the blackout occurred, but they weren't the direct trigger. The direct trigger was when the air conditioners in the dining hall and office clicked on. Yep, remember that. The air conditioners! The timers for both air conditioners were set to 11.30 p.m. 11.30 p.m.? Mr. Ham Ham's died around that time, too! I see. When the timers activated the air conditioners, the breaker was tripped and caused a blackout. I see! I understand! Indubitably. Whoa, that's Indubitably? a word. That's a word. You probably check the old building's energy usage in advance, and use the irons to nearly max it out. So once they set the air conditioner's timers, they 
just had to wait until they started up on their own. If so, even if Pekka was in the office, Can you stop flexing that bone on your arm? to cause a blackout, indubitably. Indubitably. Indubitably? Miss Sonia, not you too. Hey, it's indubitably. Regarding the energy usage, they probably asked Monokuma about it. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Is she right? Such a hateful bear. You deserve to die a thousand deaths. A thousand, you say? If I died that many times, I might really stay dead, you know? Shut up! You guys just stay quiet! I couldn't have prevented the blackout even if I was in the office. Even so, I feel regret. If I was in the office, I could have reset the breaker in time. And maybe the murder wouldn't have occurred. I don't know. Think of you got slashed pretty fast. No. The breaker in the office was built into a high area of the wall that's impossible to reach. Resetting the breaker in that darkness would have been impossible, no matter what. Sounds like you don't need to blame yourself. Even so, the killer is so sly. I'm starting to worry we may never actually find them. It's alright. You don't have to worry. Because they're just a petty killer, right? They can't defeat symbols of hope like you guys. Sure. Huh? There's no way everybody will lose now. This little incident will just be a stepping stone for you all. In the end, hope always wins. That's what I believe. Yeah. Nagito? W what happened to you? Huh? What do you mean? Well, you have been saying this whole time that there's no way a killer could be among us. Oh, is that so? Well, let's just put that minor detail aside for now and talk about the incident. Sure. For now, we found out how the blackout occurred. But the question is, who caused it, right? Anybody could have hid and set the timers for the air conditioners. Setting up the irons in the storage room could have been done before Byakuya set foot in the old building. What a shame. Any one of us is capable of that. What are you implying? He's just saying. After all this time, we still haven't made any progress. Really? Huh? Even though we have been arguing for so long? Unfortunately, it's the truth. Despite the fact that we've discussed this at length, there's not even one clue that leads to the killer. But that might be because there's no way any of us could be a killer. No, I know who it is. You, you're changing your story again? Anyway, I have an idea about what we all should do at this point. Has anyone thought about our situation like this? Instead of surviving by doubting others, isn't it better to get killed for believing in others? What? Doesn't that mean... Are you saying we should all just give up and die? Nagito, there's definitely something wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys only think there's something wrong with me because there's something wrong with you. Suspecting each other like this. There's no way that's healthy behavior. This guy's way too optimistic. Let's stop this already. We don't have to find out who the killer is. Yeah, we do. I can't stand this anymore. I don't want to do this to my friends. I, I don't want to do this either. This dude's on drugs. <laughs> me too. Please, take me home already. I got Nagito was smoking that snow. <laughs> Smoking that snow through his nose before this trial. Stop it. If everyone acts like this, I I'm gonna What are you gonna do? Calm down. You speak to a manager? We're all friends, aren't we? There's no way one friend would murder another. And yet the Kakuya is dead. Then why did Byakuya die? Exactly, Hajime, up top, man. Come on. Cares. Let's just give up already. There are no clues that lead to the killer anyway. Not a Wasn't this dude the ultimate lucky student? He's being the ultimate bitch right now. I think. Yep, Did you gamer. Say something. Come on, say it, gamer. Guys, we've already found a clue that might point to who the killer is. You know who the killer is? Why did he whisper that? The killer? I don't know. But we do have a clue about a suspicious person. Oh, she put on the hoodie. I see. Then care to tell me. What's this clue you're talking about? First of all, let's try thinking about how the killer was able to obtain the knife during the blackout. Didn't we already cover that? They used glowing paint as a mark. No, not that. 
I mean before that. Before? Is she asking how the killer got close to that table? Even if they had to obtain the knife by relying on the glow from the paint in order to do that, they needed to get close to that table while it was still dark. Let's try examining the situation. My hero's diagram might be useful here. The diagram of where everyone was standing before the blackout, right? Um, here it is. Okay. Just as I thought, this diagram is the clue. Who the killer is and how they were able to move to the table in the dark. That's clearly shown in this diagram. First, we need to discuss how the killer was able to move to that table in the dark. The killer probably used something to help them move in the dark. Spot selection. What? This? Here. Yeah, the um table wire. Hero must have used the desk lamp to move to that table in the dark. The desk lamp. I hope you don't mean they turned on a light or something. There was a blackout. There's no way the killer could have used the desk lamp. Yeah, but he could have followed the wires. Of course, there's no way they used the desk lamp's light. The killer actually used the light bulb, the tablecloth, the power core, baby! Give me some! Uh, you know they know the answer to all these questions. They used its power core. Stop it! They could have felt their way to that table using the power cord, right? Well, they could have felt that By thing. doing that, the killer was able to move to the I'm table too good at this. and use the glowing paint. I'm too nasty. I'm too filthy. Put me away. Throw away the key. And there's only one person here who could have done that. Well, Nagito is the closest to the thing, but I don't think it's him. <laughs> it's you. The only person here who could have possibly done it. You, bro, come here, come here, shorty. Well, bam. Crap. Wait, hold on. Am I sure it's this person? No, that's not it. Let's think about it one more time. Okay, so is it really Nagito? Bro, he's the closest one to it. Hold on, but it's not him though. You're the only one. All right. Nagito, it was you, wasn't it? Me. Was it? Judging from everyone's positions before the blackout, the only person near the power cord was you. Which means, the only one who could have felt their way to the table using the power cord was... Nagito! That's just a coincidence! But still, you had a chance, right? A chance to hide the knife under the table? Nagito's chance to hide the knife under the table was... Right after the blackout, right before the blackout, right after the murder, when he was cleaning. I see! Nagito, weren't you cleaning the dining There's hall? There's no way morning? it's him! If so, you would have had a chance to hide the knife. That's... You factor in the power cord and the time you spent cleaning. You're the only one who could have done it. I mean, it does make sense, though. Seriously! That's all just a coincidence! If it was just one coincidence, it'd be fine. But when it's one right I mean, after Nagito another, is not looking too good for you, brother. I wonder, is something like that even possible? Could it be? Did you give yourself cleaning duty on purpose so you could hide the knife under the table? Now that you mention it, Nagito did prepare the drawing to pick who cleaned the dining hall. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy! <laughs> to be honest, I already prepared a drawing because I assumed something like this would happen. To go to the trouble of preparing this, just what did you think would happen? Whoever draws the chopstick with the red mark on it will be in charge of cleaning, okay? Does that sound fair? You rigged the drawing, didn't you? That's how you got picked to clean the dining hall, isn't it? I don't know if you're the killer or not, but regardless, it proves that you're suspicious, right? It's pretty sus! It's pretty freaking sus, I'm not gonna lie! If that's the case, that strange speech you made earlier, that was part of your plan, too. That's just another co winky dink. You got us to lower our guard and tried to hide the fact that you did it, didn't you? Well, just admit it already! <laughs> Nagito, tell me your object to this. Frankly, I don't want to believe it either. We investigated together. You were so kind. Nagito, say something. 
No way. No freaking way. Is it really? <laughs> no freaking way. Is it him? I mean, I, that, that's a lot of ahas. I'm not even gonna count. That's a lot of ahas. The ultimates are working together to combat the despair of their friend's death. Uh, how wonderful. How beautiful it is. Huh? Those eyes. At that moment, Nagito's eyes. The darkness in his eyes shone brightly as if layers upon layers of darkness were folding into each other. He got those crazy eyes. As if hope and despair had been crudely mixed together. Let's cut to the chase. You're correct. It was my doing all along. No. I'm the one who hid the knife under the table before the party started. No. I'm the one who used the power cord to I find thought my it was way to the table terror for in the sure. dark. And of course, I'm the one who caused the blackout. After all, there's no way I'd knowingly whip out a knife in front of everyone, right? Uh, is it just me, or does he seem a little nuts right now? But I never expected Yakuya to have night vision guns. Because of that, we had ourselves a little scuffle under the table. Dude, and no freaking way! We all saw how that played out. And with a twist ending like this, I think we can all agree this ended up being a very interesting. Yeah, mystery. I mean, for real though, this is what a twist! Yakuya <laughs> performed admirably. What a twist! Just stop it already! Seriously! What the hell happened to you? Don't tell me. Is this your true nature? Were you lying to us this entire time? Lie? That's outrageous. There's no way someone like me could have lied to you guys. I understand better than anyone else that the ultimate be worthless. Too arrogant to have dreams or cling to hope. Too disdainful to actually try at anything. What is happening? I've made peace with the fact that I'm a lowly, stupid, insignificant human who can't do anything right. Holy crap! He's totally the type of guy who spent his childhood killing neighborhood pets! <laughs> he seems like the sort of person whose eyes light up while watching Friday the 13th. Just like me. Okay, that's something weird to say. That's quite the hobby you have there. But, like, now's not really the time to bring it up. This guy... Is he... Is he the real Nagito? Hey, Nagito. If you were behind all of this, then did you also send that threatening letter? Yep, I sure did. There's nobody else on this island whose handwriting is that painful to look at, right? But why would you send a threatening letter in the first place? I'm so confused. I think... somewhere deep in my heart. I was probably hoping to find someone who would stop my evil deeds. Well, I bet if that really was my reason, at least some of you would feel sorry for me. Are you making fun of us? By threatening Byakuya, Nagito was likely able to manipulate his actions. Then, how about that old looking building near the hotel? Well, if it's just cleaning, leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at it. In doing so, Nagito was able to manipulate everyone to the scene where the murder would occur. Am I wrong? That reminds me. Nagito was the one who suggested I guard the office. Well, not only is the storage room packed with lots of stuff, it's hard to see in there and full of cobwebs. And I was so busy cleaning the dining hall that I didn't even have time to clean the storage room. If you stayed in there for a long time, I think it would be bad for your health. In that case, why don't you guard that case in the office? Oh, I get it. If Paco was guarding the storage room, Nagito wouldn't have been able to use the irons. The threatening letter, along with all your suggestions, was all a trap to manipulate us. Yep, that's true too. But you're wrong about one thing. I didn't need to rig the drawing for 
cleaning duty, you know? If that's true, then how did you conveniently get picked for cleaning duty? I see. Well, there's no way I'd expect you to remember it. A worthless talent for a worthless I have human. no idea what's going on right now. Nagito's talent? I believe his talent is... The ultimate, the ultimate baby face? Really? The ultimate baby face? Okay, my guy. The ultimate lucky student. That's what he is. I see. You're the ultimate lucky student. Then, did you? That's right. I just trusted my luck. I trusted I'd be picked for cleaning duty. You just relied on your luck? It's not just luck. It's true my talent sucks. But I'm still the ultimate lucky student, you know? Huh? I'm left with the red mark? Haha, <laughs> for someone called the lucky student, you don't seem very lucky right now. At the time, Hajime said I wasn't lucky. But it was actually the opposite. I was lucky. That's why I got picked for cleaning duty. Just like I wanted. Enough. That... I don't care about that anymore. More importantly, why did you kill Byakuya? Answer me! Byakuya was a very capable leader. For someone like him to get killed? Yeah, you brought despair to me, Nagito. You're it's on my hit list. That you symbols of hope should use his death as a stepping stone to shine even brighter. That was my only motivation. You're not making any sense! Fine. Let's start the damn boat already. I'm ready to fucking kill this site. <laughs> Please! Monokuma! Please, wait! Huh? The fuck? Um, 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 how should I put this? Please don't open your legs again and have like a turkey just sitting there. Is I don't think so. Um, what are you saying? He's already confessed, hasn't he? My man's right here. Croissant head. I already know that, but... Um, there's just something a little strange. If it's only a little, then keep your mouth shut. Your ugly face is stressing me out. It makes me want to puke. You uglier than her! <laughs> I'm sorry! Um, hey! For now, You're both ugly. Might I suggest you listen what I mean, to you what uglier. To Fuyuhiko, no, not Fuyuhiko. Hiyoko, whatever your name is. But we know. Fuyuhiko's cool, my boys. Simply listening is acceptable. However, I won't allow this to end with mere play. Now then, let us lift the curtain for our bloody spectacle. From this point, lines of white noise will appear to disrupt your reactions. Your tooth bullets will disappear if they touch these lines, so think of them as obstacles in your debate. Alright, let me fix my hair before we do this one. Cause, you know, you know. Oh boy, what is this? There's so much. It's gotta be, um, Mikan's autopsy results. It's gotta be, because she's the one who has something to say. Oh, whoops! I want that. Damn it. Come on. He has already confessed. Let me get that. How do I get that? Um, you know... Say it, say it, say it. That bastard Nagito is the one who did it. He killed Byakuya with a knife he hit. Right here? Yes! No, that's wrong. One take J. That knife might not be the murder weapon. That's what you wanted to say, right, Mikon? What the hell are you talking about? It's obvious the knife was the murder weapon. But... Based on the entry wounds on Yakuya's body, the actual weapon should be roughly five millimeters in diameter. Five millimeters in diameter? That's like way skinnier than a knife! Hey, that better be true. If you screwed up, I'll sell your fucking ass to a whorehouse! Fuyuhiko, you need to calm down, bro! Not a whorehouse! No, ain't nobody going to a whorehouse. Whoa, Not even me. Her. Is this what you're trying to say, Mikan? Long as we Doesn't Mikan mean orange? Knife is the murder weapon. We can't assume that I'm the killer. What are you saying? No one else can be the killer. It has to be you. Hey, it's conveniently him, me. but it might not Mikan's be him. That's the one who said it. I'm sorry. Hey Nagito, are you still hiding something? He's hiding the truth. Uh, hiding? Like during the blackout. 
Did something happen between you and Byakuya that we don't know about? Who knows? After all this, Why what is he else acting do like you this? intend to hide? Jeez, the moment your back's against the wall, you get all silent. You piss me off! What happened during the blackout? Hmm... Ugh! If you cross your eyes like this, it gives you double vision! Don't get distracted! Our lives are at stake, you know? Huh? Whose life is at stake? Seriously, how long is it gonna take for you to understand the damn rules? Nobody can see in the dark, no matter how hard you think about it. The truth is beyond your sight. Don't you think that's a pretty clever metaphor? Despite the fact that it came from me? No, that's not it. Not it? What's not it? The truth is beyond our sight. No, that can't be it. There should be some way to find out what happened in the dark. There should be some way to find out what happened in the dark. During the blackout, Ibuki was able to discern all the noise people were making, right? I can prove it with this. Thank you. I actually got like five wrong Even before that. See I'm cutting that all out though, because that was embarrassing. I'm sure someone could have heard it. Isn't that right, Ibuki? Oh, real? <laughs> Don't act so surprised. You were the one who told me, remember? When everyone was shouting during the blackout? Uh, everyone, calm down. We gotta stay calm in a situation like this. Ah, don't step on my bee. What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Yeah, how did Teru Teru get in there if he couldn't even see anything from the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? That's what sealed the deal for me. Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Such perceptive hearing. Impressive. I'd expect no less from the ultimate musician. It's a good thing your ears are awesome because your face, style, figure, and personality totally suck. <laughs> You've cut me deep with your knife of truth. I, I don't know what to say about that. Hiyoko just grilling him, After barbecue chicken him. Nagito said in the dark. What the hell? What's going on here? Yeah, Nagito said, ow. This is. Ow! It almost sounds like. Yakuya fought back against Nagito or something. Well, that's actually what happened. Huh? As a sign of respect for Ibuki's talent, I have a small confession to make. I was actually shoved out from under the table by Byakuya. He shoved you out? Just as the blackout occurred, I hurried to duck under the table and grab the knife. But Byakuya, wearing his night vision goggles, caught me and shoved me right out from under the table. Well, I knew it wasn't you. That's right. I'm so incompetent that I couldn't even grab the knife. So, Biakuya stopped him while he was trying to get the knife. And he got shoved out from under the table before he could even grab it? Well, it sounds plausible. I mean, just from listening to what was said at the time. What the hell? What's going on here? This is... Ow! <laughs> Ow! I can interpret it like that. No, actually, now that I think about it, that sounds like exactly what happened. After getting shoved out from under the table, I was just as confused as you guys. I lost sight of the glowing paint. I didn't even know where the power cord was. Before I realized it, the lights had come back on, and the Yakuza's body was lying under the table. So I was right. Teru Teru! Are you saying you're not the killer? From the very beginning, the idea to throw a party, hiding the knife, setting up the blackout. It was all going according to plan. But unfortunately, my plan failed. And all thanks to Byakuya's night vision goggles. What happened after that? Even I don't know. You failed? Th then you're not the one who killed Byakuya? Then we're right back to square one! No, we're not. We spent all this time! We are not back to square one. Something very revealing happened in that audio in the dark. Does nobody know? Take a cool you knows. He just can't talk about it. You can't give up. You need to have hope. Do your best and move forward. <laughs> this freaking guy. Rising to the challenge again and again is why you guys are the yeah, I like this guy. Nagito is my guy. Is Nagito really not the killer? 
Is this guy really the Nagito I knew before? No, there's no way I can say that. I just thought I knew him, but this whole time I didn't know anything about this guy. I didn't know his true character. It's as simple as that. But now's not the time for me to dwell on that. We need to find Biakui's killer by any means possible. Because if we don't, we... We will die here! I know that. And come on, just, just pass the mic to me. The what? Suspended? Why? No, don't do that! Come now on, then. I know who it is! Now then, the class trial has reached its climax, but... Okay, here's a question for you. What's this? To those of you who figured out who it is, how about you try out the Guess the Killer Challenge? Whoever fails to guess the right killer will have their save data melt away like butter. But if you guess right, I'll reward you with $10 billion. $10 billion? Of course, for those of you who don't know who the killer is, you can just continue on. Now then, now then what are you going to do? Left mouse one, continue on B, guess the killer challenge. Oh, you can't! I hate you! There's no way you'd be able to guess who the killer is. Oh, you son of a mother. I hate you. All right, guys, I was going to continue with the first class trial, but I have no idea how long it's going to be. I don't want this video to end up being two hours long. I really feel like I know who it is, but we just got to get the evidence and we just got to nail this bastard so we can see the execution. 50,000 likes, and I will release the next episode as soon as I can. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!